In this video, I present our research on designing interactive transfer learning tools for machine learning non-experts. Interactive machine learning, or IML, help users to integrate their knowledge when building complex machine learning models. While a number of IML tools exist that are geared towards expert users, less is known about how IML tools can support non-experts. Yet, non-experts have a lot to gain from machine learning technology. For instance, an online community moderator might want to use ML to help them better manage negative posts. In this paper, we explore how interactive transfer learning might support non-experts. Transfer learning is a popular machine learning approach in which a model trained on one task can be adopted for other related tasks using a smaller training dataset. However, transfer learning is primarily an expert tool because it requires a series of interdependent subtasks such as identifying transfer candidates, transferring them successfully, and identifying subsequent steps. To inform our design, we conducted semi-structured interviews and a literature survey to identify salient design requirements, synthesizing them into a series of tasks related to selection, assembly, and diagnostic. The synthesis allowed us to think from the perspective of non-experts and identify key functional and conceptual challenges in acquiring a clear sense of how to engage in transfers. Following our inquiry, we implemented a prototype tool called Interactal, which helps to scaffold the complexities of transfer learning in convolutional neural networks and makes them accessible to ML non-experts. Interactal uses a building blocks metaphor to help users assemble, train, and test CNN models. Using expert curated pre-trained models, users can interactively create a model. Users can configure samples from classes they want to train. The users can test the trained models for performance on specific samples, assessing the final accuracy. Using pre-existing samples from the test dataset, users can analyze model performance by probing with different inputs. Interactal visualizes the model's learned representations to provide a sense of model architecture. And finally, Interactal provides a comprehensive view of the model performance through a pan and zoom scatter plot and a confusion matrix. Post-implementation, we conducted a user study to explore how non-experts made use of Interactal. Our study involved 15 participants between 18 to 25 years of age, all with a non-computer science background. Participants were given the task to design a model that can classify, as accurately as possible, hundreds of samples of lowercase alphabetical character. During the study, participants could move through different stages of model building, as they required, and build models using representations from related tasks. For instance, a user might create a hybrid model by transferring learned representations from a model trained on uppercase characters and empty computational units. The users could build and iterate over as many models as they preferred. We used state diagrams to capture the interaction patterns of each user as they move through these steps. We observed three different patterns of activity among users. Some users focused on the data, others on the model, and some more on the balance between the two. For participants who focused on the model, their transfer decisions were motivated by domain knowledge and task similarities. They used what if analysis to study the model's current state to integrate their knowledge? Participants engaged in hypothesizing about letter shapes and the impact to inform building several different models over multiple iterations. For designers of interactive ML systems, it is critical to consider how to offer tools that reduce the cost of exploration and provide precise implications of altered model architectures. We observe participants relied on their perceptions of statistical learning process, resulting in unsuccessful transfers. Comments like, I want to see if it remembered anything from last time, demonstrate that their understanding of the machine learning process is grounded in human learning process. For designers of interactive system, these misinterpretations may be mitigated using visualizations of the declarative knowledge of the model clearly communicating its learning style. Our observations also showed that participants over-relied on accuracy number and struggled to find patterns across correct and incorrect model outcomes. Participants' comments demonstrate that they often rebuild the models to retrieve information across transfers. For designers of interactive systems, it is crucial to surface historical and process data that aligns with their hypothesis and evaluations. We invite you to check out the full paper. Thank you.